always had to be like extra cheerful, extra outgoing, just so that people wouldn't think, malungkot ka nga, tapos mataba ka pa. Nothing will be left for me. Dear, 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 dear old self, I want you to know that we finally win in the end. Alam mo ba, madami na tayong pinagdaanan. I should, I'm gonna get super emotional, but I'm sorry for all the times that I had to dim my light for other people. Right now, whatever age you are, for sure you're confused about a lot of things. Kinailangan mo i-accept yung fact na you were a lot of people and there's nothing you could do to change that. But I assure you na everything will be fine. And thank you for finally choosing yourself in the end. So yun, update lang kita. We are doing so much better mentally, physically, emotionally, and all other aspects in life. The things that you've been dreaming, we've sort of achieved it already. So, kapit ka lang dyan kasi... Sobrang sayo mo na ngayon. Kapit ka lang siguro. I guess looking back at us before... Ang dami natin kalokohang ginawa eh. Nagdala ng brass knuckles sa school. <laughs> Nagnahaw tayo ng pakoti-konti sa parents natin. Tapos nanapa ka ng TV just cause, you know, wala kang pakis sa mga tao sa paligid, no? Dumating pa tayo sa point na nagpaka-addict tayo sa bisyo. We feel accepted by the peers or accepted by the group of people. When in fact, at the end of the day, everything's gonna be empty again. And it sucks. May gagawin kayo that would sort of pivot your whole life. We'll be asked to move out of the house because from our mother's perspective, dahil ba may trabaho ka na? Dahil ba kaya mo nang bumili ng mga bagay na para sa sarili mo? Ipagdadamot mo na. Pero that argument with your mom or with our mom led us to moving out of the house. The future didn't look really bright back then because I thought that this is all I'm going to amount to. We were living in the slums of Naga City. My mother was being domestically abused. I witnessed that growing up. At age 17, that's when my mom went abroad. We went to Cebu. Me and my brother, I was only 17 and he was 14, I think. So we were living on our own for like two years. I felt like I matured there because I had no choice but to grow up as a 17-year-old raising a 14-year-old younger brother. That definitely took a toll on my mental health. I got diagnosed with depression and anxiety. We hated ourselves so much. You used to be like 140 pounds heavier, literally 300 pounds whenever there was a group photo. You would always hide in the back and we always had to make people shine against us just so that they could like us better. I was really sad. I was really depressed. I never showed it to anyone. I just accepted that it was gonna always be that way, just because I was fat. I studied in a prominent high school, all boys school. Ang currency kasi namin dun, two things lang. Either one, madami kang kilalang babae, or maangas ka, alam mo yun. So, I had to be that person to, to survive. Tapos until I got into high school nga, na parang, ano na eh, sobra-sobra na eh. Baba na ng grades ko, yung Hindi na obedient, wala na. As in, I go to school just to fuck with people, parang ganun. Eventually, second year high school, I got kicked out. Yun yung first time ko kasi nakita yung mom ko na sad. As in, yun yung emotion niya, sad. I had to see my mom beg the principal na, he's a good kid, he can do better. Tapos, ang sinabi lang sa kanya, medyo kinounter with, with evidence of what the things I've done. And parang nakaya yun for my mom. And na-feel ko yung hurt. On her end. It was hard because at that time, yung rentahan natin was pretty small. Meron lang tayo electric fan, tapos nakabukas lang lagi yung bintana. And roadside sa lagi so laging maingay. Luckily, relatives from my father's side reached out. They wanted me to stay in Laguna. Since dahil wala nga tayong kagamit-gamit, for sure, mamamatay tayo kung dun tayo sa apartment na yun nagstay. So I stayed, as in Kalagit Nanor, the height of the pandemic in Laguna. And that's where we thought na, why isn't there a community for people who want to learn about digital marketing? Kasi we're in the digital marketing industry. I'll never forget, it was April of 2023. I just got out of a breakup. I was at home, I was alone, literally just eating take out every single day, drunk every weekend. Life sucked in general. And then after that, I decided na parang, okay, I guess it's time to change a little bit. So I stepped on the scale, and then I saw 315 pounds, and I was like, FML. 
I thought na, okay, I can't control how the world treats me. I guess it's time to control the things that I can control, and that's myself. And then, so, I changed my lifestyle. Yung process mo to get better, kailangan mo din ma-accept yung fact nga na nakasakit ka ng tao. What I did personally, if a friend told me, why not reach out to these people who you think you hurt talaga? So, mga people na naasar ko nung, nung high school ako, Lahat talaga sila, as in, nag-sorry ako, apologize, uh, kahit four years after na, just so to forgive myself din. Ito hindi ka maniniwala dito. You being a college dropout, you're now speaking and doing workshops about digital marketing to college students. People have shown me kindness nung masama akong tao. Why can't I do that for someone else? From there, tuloy-tuloy, uh, nag-esports ako nun, doon ako nag-start mag-pro. Sabi ko, Lahat ng anger ko, whatever, competitive drive, dito ko lalagay. First month, I lost 20 pounds. And then after that, I got all the compliments. And then I realized that people are nicer to you when you start fixing yourself, looking better. When I asked for help, it helped my body be at peace with itself. At first, I didn't want to because the stigma of mental health is still ingrained in me. Me finding out that, oh, it's okay to find myself without being called selfish. Look for your own self-identity without anybody judging you. Or if anybody is judging you, it doesn't really matter because the only opinions that matter is you and yours alone. Nung bata naman kasi ako, I never thought of being the one who would be giving the help. I was the only one na I deserve help. I deserve the attention. Pero that pivotal moment with the help of a few people as well put me in the right direction. I want you to know that now we're a lot happier. I finally found my place in this world. I'm finally proud of myself. Masaya ka na ngayon. Things are better sa family mo. Hindi na hirap si mami na to make ends meet. May capable ka na to, to help out. Hindi ka na kapag continue ng studies, pero promise you, better na yun ngayon. We are doing great. We are married. We joined a beauty pageant. Those are the things that we were told when we were growing up that we can't do. So, die. Delete na ta need of validation from other people and iguana tang support system that we can count on padangat na padangat taka so what gives me strength to move on is my siblings the people around me kasi parang nabibigyan ako ng sense of family and in the future alam mo yun, i'd love to have my own family and parang i started it with them growing up i didn't feel that i had people that i could trust but uh, when i opened up more and more I found my husband. I understood my mother better because, of course, being a single mother and also being a survivor. And now we are the best of friends. And now with my community and what I'm doing now is sort of paying things forward to those people who would want to help other people as well. We've become more intentional. Intentional with how the way we live. And I guess that's what moves us forward. We work on trying to strive for the life that we want in the future. And I hope that things stay the same as they are now while getting better day by day. Be fearless in this cruel but beautiful world. Our favorite quote from Meet the Robinsons, which is, keep moving forward. Despite all the hardships, despite all the trials, keep moving forward. I love you so much, dear self. I promise that we will never that we will always come into terms with each other. Makakamit mo din pangarap mo. Kalma lang. Dearly yours. Fonzo. Love Anna of today. Love Zoe. From your future self, bounce now. Neil. <laughs>